Hey everybody, I get this question a lot, all right? It is, how do you know if I have a seroma, okay? I place drains during tummy tuck surgery and if they are taken out too soon um, or if certain things happen after the drain is taken out, patient's gonna get a seroma. So how do you know if you have a seroma? Well, take a look here, guys. It's kind of like a waterbed effect. You see how his pulsing up here? That's a fluid shift, okay? That's a sign of a seroma and they're not an emergency, okay? So the key is to drain it when you see this happen. And normally it takes about a couple uh, times to drain this. So we'll drain out the fluid and we're gonna do that right now. He's not gonna have very much sensation on this skin here because that's the top part of the abdomen. We're gonna take a little bit of a needle and get all of this fluid out so that we can um, kind of relieve some of this pressure and then the body has a chance to kind of reabsorb whatever keeps getting produced. That's it, you guys. We drained off our seroma successfully. We got about 100 cc's off. Um, this is how you know if you have a seroma. There's that waterbed effect. Um, treatment is to drain it in the office. It's also a good reason not to pull out your drains too early, okay? So um, he's good to go. We're gonna check on him in the next few days. If it comes back, we're gonna keep draining it until it stops. It will eventually stop.